My name is Lily Matthews, I'm 21 years old, I'm from Mid Wales. I've uh, been mountain biking now for about three years, I've been on the Olympic programme for just over two years. Yeah, so, I mean, what, so what are you doing? Um, you know, how did your race go today? So, um, it went, um, I was really pleased with how it went. Uh, I was sort of like, my aim was to try and stay with that group for as long as possible, be it that I got away, be it that what happened, I dropped off the back of the group. Um, and and yeah, I've, I've, I've tried to stay with the group for as long as possible. And uh, when I dropped off, I had to sort of settle into riding my own race. But uh, once, once I settled in, it was it was all right. Yeah. So obviously, on to the Olympics, how are you feeling about uh, the 20, 2012 Olympics coming to London? Uh, it's amazing. Went to see the course the other day, and um, it's it's quite impressive actually. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you probably have read all the stuff on the websites and stuff. But um, it, it, yeah, oh, it's amazing. It's, it's coming to London. Really amazing. <laughs> so apart from yourself, who should we be looking out for in your discipline at the at the, at, at, at the Olympics? Uh, obviously, Annie Lass from GB. Do you mean? Yeah, from GB. Yeah, Once about what GB? Yeah, Annie Lass, myself, and then uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's other girls. Uh, and I know that um, Maddie Horton's also point scoring for, for Great Britain. She came uh, fourth today. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and like you can't cut anybody out. I guess you know. So, yeah. so what do you do as part of the training regime and the build up to the competition? Um, well, it's sort of like, uh, well, this year we're racing all the nationals and uh, we've got the pretty much a full World Cup series mm-hmm. ahead now. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll be looking to get as many points as we can through those races and obviously uh, build throughout the year, get some good racing experience uh, leading, leading up to 2012. Yep. Okay, and is the training more, do you think the training is more intense for the Olympics? Uh, in comparison to? to standard sort of like competitions or do you, do you have the same sort of build up to? Um, well yeah, I mean obviously looking ahead to the Olympics I guess we've got to look at the standard yeah. <laughs> that, we, that we need to be at. Um, so, you know, it, it's, not, it's not quite like training for nationals. But, um, yeah, we'll... You know, we'll, That's we'll, we'll just obviously you know yeah. keeping the Olympics in mind in terms of how how, how the build works. Do you think the pressure is a bit more is bit is more intense for the actual competition? Yeah. And how do you think how do you cope with that? It's definitely more pressure, but yeah. I think I think you know it's just like you can't really you can't really be thinking about that every day because like you've just got to crack on the training really so, yeah, yeah. And, uh, do you, how do you keep yourself motivated doing that support? Uh, it, it varies really you yeah. know there's always different stuff going on within training and, and racing and stuff so one one method of staying motivated might work one day one week one month it might not work the other month so just keep keep on the ball really <laughs> I guess There's two more quick questions what, what's been the highlight then of your career then so far? Uh, I don't really think there's been one race in particular, to be honest. Um, I'm, I'm just enjoying it more every year, yeah. to be honest. Just like I know that I'm improving, which, which is always good. And you know, like last year, I did get a few more results than what I got the previous year. And like I'm, I'm really hoping to do the same again this year. So just, yeah, no, it's just, it's just all, all collectively together. Um, Good, good experience. Fantastic. And finally, what would you like the Olympic, the London Olympics, to be remembered for? Um, I guess really like I think the main thing, in, in my opinion, uh, in this country is is getting more people into into racing and yeah, yeah there seem to be a lot of people out in Britain that ride mountain bikes and, and I went to Canada Chase the other day. There's absolutely loads of people riding bikes, but um, if people could see more of the racing scene and actually have a, a better appreciation mm-hmm. for mountain biking. Uh, in comparison to the other disciplines, um, I think the Olympic course seems to be really good for that. Apparently, uh, anyway, Sandra Course should get 60% of the course, which is brilliant, uh, which is really what we need because, like, obviously, spectators being able to video the course. So, um, I, I think that's really good. Um, if people can come to the Olympics and, and see what mountain biking is actually all about, because in my opinion, it's solid. Um, and if people can have a real appreciation for what mountain biking is, um, and if we can increase the number of people that have that appreciation, I think it would be amazing. That's great. <laughs>